taking the bits off, and then you were just left with the, the sort of the silver bit and a mini skirt. But golly, you couldn't have got dressed that quickly with it. I mean, it took some getting into. <laughs> I believe the series became very, very popular in Japan, and we subsequently heard that a lot of the Japanese had adopted this hairstyle. <laughs> Well, she may look like a visitor from outer space to you, but she's warm, comfortable, and ready for anything, with a specially adaptable cosmetics belt, which does away with cumbersome handbags. There's nothing to crease, nothing to iron, and every part is replaceable. The design is so practical, it adapts for indoors and out at the flick of a zip. She could sell me one anytime. The metallic fabric is tough, but lightweight and the synthetic accessories need no cleaning. She'll never have a chance to say she's got nothing to wear because it's all there. High-speed living needs no trouble gear. If this is living in the future today, I'm all for it. Um, but I wanted something very different. You know, you talk about, you're talking about future here. Now, how do you help wear your hair? I mean, what, what are you going to do with the women? Are they all going to have different hairstyles? And is it all going to be, apart from anything else, on a practical level, it takes up time to get people's hair done. So everyone on the set has got to have the hair done that looks futuristic. And how do you predict what is going to be? And I thought the only way to do it is they've got to be uniform. It's got to be one thing. So then I toyed with ideas and I sketched and I rather liked the idea of a very simple hairstyle that, but was flattering. And then I thought, well, why does it have to be a conventional color? I mean, why does it have to be? You know, you're going so far over the top here, you may as well go the whole way. So I decided on purple and I had one made up. And I sat in my office one day at the studio wearing this purple wig. And the amazing thing was that no one referred to it. They walked in and out and said, oh, I don't know what they said when they went out. They probably said, oh, Sylvia's having one of her you know, peculiar turns. But to me, it was quite flattering to every type of face. It wasn't going to be something that was, oh, if I really got to wear that awful thing, it didn't have spikes coming out of it. it wasn't and it was terribly simple to put on. And it was acrylic, so there was, there was no, um, maintaining it, no hairdressing involved. So I just, it just worked really. 